I personally think it's a fantastic opportunity for the Labour Party that hundreds of thousands of new people have joined and said they want to be part of the Labour movement. I think what Jeremy needs to do and his team need to do very quickly is make sure those people stay involved and mobilise them into a movement that helps the Labour Party win the 2020 election. It's advisable not to moan uh, that your candidate has lost an election because we've got too many members. But what we have to do is actually ensure that we can infuse these members with, with our views. I think it's a bit early to say how the Labour Party is going to operate um, in the coming months and years. I hope that common sense will prevail. Um, I hope that Jeremy understands that being the leader of the opposition is a really serious and very, very difficult job. It all depends who's going to be in the shadow cabinet. Now, I would like to see some of our uh, old familiar new, new Labour faces there. I'd like to see Chuka there, I'd like to see Liz there. Obviously, Yvette, if, um, if uh, she doesn't win herself. So, let's just see how it's going to be. I anticipate um, some very, very strong fights, particularly in the recent elections where boundaries are changing um, and where there are large, large growth of membership, so probably not in Scotland where there's not been a lot of new members, but maybe in parts of London, and I've seen people saying that they want to deselect councillors for the next borough council election, so I think we'll see quite a lot of fighting uh, within the party. I think this is a big test for Jeremy Corbyn and for the new team. In Simon Fletcher, who is his chief of staff, you've got a fantastic political operator. You've got somebody who, whatever your political views, I think you like and respect him. And he will be a really important person for people to engage with. When you've been beaten two, two times in a row, um, or three times in a row, as the Tories were, they found their way back by just going out and saying, OK, we've clearly got to listen. We're going to listen to the voters and to trade unions. We're going to listen to churches and to business. So go out to business. The whole front bench should be going out to business and saying, what are your ideas? I talk to businesses all the time who are desperately worried about the EU referendum, desperately worried about the government's approach to, to the economy, even, in terms of the failure of Osborne to meet any of his commitments. Uh, fiscal deficit is still huge. Um, so, but, you know, they never trusted us to do it. And we need to ensure that at the next election, we've got businesses saying we've got faith in Labour. Because if we don't win the economy, we're not going to win the country.